हेलो एवरीवन नमस्ते वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एकेडमिक ट्यूबर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस यूनिट 19 फ्रॉम ग्रेड 8 साइंस दैट इज स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ अर्थ बिफोर दैट इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल एंड फॉर मोर अपडेट्स हिट द बेल आइकन if you want more videos related to this please like and do share this video among your friends and also don't forget to give your valuable response in comment section here in this unit we are going to discuss the structure of earth minerals and its type characteristics of minerals uses of minerals some important minerals found in nepal soil and its formation structure of soil soil profile soil erosion and deposition conservation of soil Minerals. The naturally available solid matters found in earth crust are called minerals. Example: hematite, magnetite, bauxite, etc. Characteristics of minerals. Minerals they have their own color. They have their own luster. They are crystalline substance. They are hard. Uses of minerals. Metal can be extracted from minerals. Different chemical substances can be prepared from minerals. Decorating materials can be prepared by using minerals. Minerals are used to construct road, bridges, buildings, etc. Minerals are used as fuel in vehicles and other machines. Types of minerals. There are two types of minerals. They are metallic minerals and non-metallic minerals. Metallic minerals. The minerals that contain metals in a large amount are called metallic minerals. Example: hematite, magnetite, etc. Ores. Those minerals from which metal can be extracted profitably are called ores. Example: hematite, magnetite, etc. Non-metallic minerals. The minerals that contain very less amount of metals and more non-metals are called non-metallic minerals. Example: limestone, sulfur, coal, petrol, etc. So here are some metals with their respective ores. Aluminium. So the ore of aluminium are bauxite, phosphor, etc. Iron. The ore of irons are hematite, magnetite, iron carbonate, etc. Copper. The ore of copper is chalcopyrite, chalcosite, cuprite, etc. Silver. The ores of silver are argentite, on silver, ruby silver, etc. Some important minerals found in Nepal. First one, iron. Hematite and magnetite are two chief main ore of irons. In Nepal, iron is found in Fulchoki of Lajpur district, Those of Ramesha, Lavdi of Tanau, and Gikhawang of Chitwan. Iron is used to make household utensils and weapons. Second one, copper. Chalcopyrite is the chief ore of copper. Copper is found in Mokonpur, Dhading, Solukhumbu, Udaipur, Tanau, Baglung, Bhojpur, and Dolidura. The copper is used to make electric wire, domestic utensils, temper, sculpture, medals, etc. Lead. Galena is the chief ore of lead. Lead mine has been found in Ganesh Himal, Fulchogi of Lalitpur, Khairabang of Mokanpur and Solukhumbu. Zinc. Sephlerite is the chief ore of zinc. Zinc mines are found in Ganesh Himal, Fulchogi, Mokanpur, Sankhwa Sabha, etc. It is used for electroplating iron and to make alloy like bronze. Limestone. The mines of limestone are mainly found in Udaipur, Choba, Surkhet, Agrakhanche, Dading, Kabre, Dang, Sinduli, etc. It is used for making cement, lime, temples, houses, buildings, etc. Graphite. Graphite is found in Ilam, Donguta, Sindhu, Bajok, and Songkhwa Sabha. Its main use is to make pencil, color, and lubricants. Soil. Soil is the substance formed by the combination of minerals, sand, clay, humus, and dead bodies of organisms. Importance of soil. One number. Soil provides habitat to plants and animals. Green plants absorb water and minerals from the soil for photosynthesis. Various organisms like bacteria, fungi, orthom, insects, etc. accomplish life cycle in the soil. Process of formation of soil. River, rivulets, glaciers, etc. carry large sized rocks along with their flow. These rocks collide with each other during flow of water and break down. This process continues for a long time. Small particles, dust, gravel, sand, etc. are formed. As a result, soil is formed. This is the process of soil formation. 
Rocks become hot during day and cold during night. By the process of heating and cooling, the rocks break down into small particles. The soil is formed from these small particles of broken rocks. River water passes into the pores of rocks. Similarly, rainwater also passes through them. The water helps to break down the rocks into small pieces. By this process, the soil is formed. Some plants grow through the fractures of rocks. These plants gently weaken the rocks. As a result, the rocks start to break down in this way. Soil is formed by breaking the rocks. The surface of rock erodes when air flows with high speed. Then the sand particles, then the sand-like particles eroded from rocks are converted into soil. Are converted into soil. So here is one experiment to show the composition of soil. Or we can say that uh, so experiment to prove soil is formed from different substances. So materials required: grass cylinder, water, sample soil, etc. Procedure: We should take a glass cylinder with more half of water in it. Then we should put the sample soil in it. Now we have to close the glass cylinder with its lid and shake it well, and place the cylinder still for some minutes, and lay the mixture to settle as shown in figure. When the heavy particle settles down, different components of soil can be seen. They are the components of that soil. And finally, we came to conclude that soil is formed by different substances. So here is one question. Name any four substances found in soil. Rock particles, humus, soil water, and soil air. The structure of soil, composition of soil. Soil is made up of broken rocks and organic matters. Generally, it contains small particles of rock and minerals. It also contains water, air, and organic matters. Different types of soil have different composition. There are different layers in the structure of soil. More organic substances are found in the top layer. Middle layer contains some organic matter, insects, roots of plants, and others. Minerals, iron, aluminium, etc., are found in the third layer. Main rocky matter is found in the last layer from the top, thus soil is formed from decayed plants and other biological substances, air, water, and rocks, etc. Soil profile. The element of various layers or horizons of the soil of a particular place vertically down from the soil is called soil profile. Soil erosion. The process of carrying away of land surface or soil by agents like wind, air, storm, water, etc. is called soil erosion. Causative factors of soil erosion: river, wind, ocean, storm. Process of erosion: Erosion is caused by winds, water, river, glacier, and even human activities like construction works. Running water rolls down the particles present in soil, dissolving the minerals present in rocks and colliding materials. Glacier can also break down rocks and transfer sediments from U-shaped landforms, and which forms U-shaped landforms of valleys. In this way, erosion takes place by different agents. Deposition: The process of depositing materials taken away during erosion is called deposition. Erosion and deposition occur side by side. Causative factors of deposition: water, air, river, rain. Process of deposition. Running water is one of the most important agents of deposition which deposits sediments when it, is, it has less velocity and unable to carry any more sediments. Wind is also another agent of deposition which carries slits and sand easily and deposits them where their velocity decreases. The glacier is another agent of deposition in this way deposition takes place. Conservation of soil We can conserve soil by adopting following process. Deforestation should be controlled. Trees should be planted in barren land and naked areas. Fruits and, fruits and grass trees should be planted on swampy hills. Terrace farming should be adopted in hilly region as far as possible. Bamboo and other plants having a strong root system should be planted along the riverbanks. Overgrazing should be controlled in swampy areas. Blasting in mountains should be banned while constructing roads, industries, buildings, and factories, etc. Retaining walls should be constructed along the riverbanks. So now we are going to discuss some important reasoning questions from this uh, unit. Erosion and deposition occur side by side by side. Why? Erosion is followed by deposition. If soil erosion occurs in one place, the eroded materials get deposited on another place. Deposition is not possible without erosion. Hence, erosion and deposition occur side by side. Next question. Afforestation helps to conserve soil. Why? 
Afforestation helps to conserve soil because roots of trees host the soil particles together, thus make it difficult to, for water to erode the soil. Next question. The role of minerals is very important for the development of a country. Why? The role of minerals is very important for the development of a country because minerals are used in construction of roads, bridges, buildings, industrial developments, etc., which are the backbone of the development of a country. Now we are going to discuss few differences between differences between metallic minerals and non-metallic minerals. Metallic minerals they contain metals in a large amount, whereas non-metallic minerals they do not contain significant amount of metals. Metallic minerals are used to extract metal, whereas non-metallic min minerals they are used for making cements, houses, bridges, roads, chemical fertilizers, etc. Difference between iron and copper. Iron it is a grey colored metal, whereas copper it is reddish brown metal. The principal ore of iron is hematite, whereas the principal ore of copper is chalcopyrite. By this we have completed notes of this unit structure of earth. I hope this video was useful to you. If you like this video, please share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any queries, drop the comments in comment section. See you on next video. Thank you.